Hello and welcome to the Construction TV's final programme from Conexpo. And we're going to be concentrating today on roads, on engines, both old and new. Join us after the break. Welcome back. Now we're going to be looking at engines both large and small, but I don't think there's going to be very much smaller than where I am now. It's only two horsepower. It looks to me though, Simon, that you might have something just a little bit more powerful. At this year's Con Expo, there's a lot of talk about engine technology. Cummins engines have always been an innovator in this area. This is the Cummins Diesel Special. It led the way in IndyCar racing 62 years ago. It features a 6.6 .6 litre engine, turbocharged, 420 horsepower. So, Jeff, nice looking car and interesting engine, but I guess technology's moved on somewhat since then, hasn't it? Yes, it has, Alan, but even 62 years ago, the Cummins Diesel Special was a bit of a game changer. And uh, bringing things forward now to where Cummins has currently got to with its Tier 4 final solutions, the new QSG 12-litre engine is really going to set, uh, set hearts and pulses racing. And uh, the latest project that Cummins is involved with is with a hybrid drive system with Ehrlichon and XCMG, and they're working on a 30-ton wheel loader that uses electric motor drives, and that's going to be pretty special, and we'll see that at the end of the year. Talking of game changing, there's also things happening at the smaller end of the market. Yes, there are, Alan. Doosan Infracore and their engine group has just launched this new compact series of diesel engines for Tier 4 Final. They're only three and four cylinders, but very, very important. And there's no DPF required on these engines, so it really is a kind of a fit and forget solution using diesel oxidation catalysts and SCR on the largest of the three engines. Now at the start of the week you were quite excited as we were looking at a black cloth that was going to unveil something. What happened? Was it, was it what you expected? Yes, and it was well worth the wait. In fact, it was JCB's first six-cylinder engine. They've been making four cylinders for a number of years. They're stepping up. They want more horsepower. They want a bigger solution for people. It's only a tier three engine at this stage, but it really does show what they're capable of and it's a sign of bigger things to come from JCB. Fantastic. Now, Simon, you've just been at a press conference with some pretty big news, I think. Over to you. I've just arrived at the Trimble Load Right stand where there's some breaking news. I'm just going to talk to Johan Smet, the general manager, about those developments. Johan, welcome to the show. Thank you, Simon. We're very excited today that we can introduce the first tangible result of the alignment between the load right uh, technology and the Trimble portfolio of products. We have created the link between the load right scales, the weighing systems for both wheel loaders and excavators, and the Vision Link reporting platform that allows contractors and aggregates companies to, to see the results of what they are producing in the field, aggregated into the cloud so that we can produce reporting uh, that they can use at the corporate office. The main benefit is that it allows the operations managers to see the actual productivity in real time. And what it allows them to do is look at total production, total uh, performance against targets, against objectives and budgets, uh, as well as looking at more detailed information. How much did we do per machine? How much did we do per, per, per day? Are we meeting our targets? What are the comparisons? Uh, which machine is doing better than another? What are the areas where we're, we're not as productive as we'd like to be and how can we do something about it? Very interesting, Johan. Thanks very much indeed for your time. How about that, Alan? Pretty big news. Back to you, my friend. Thank you, Simon. It really is about technology deals, isn't it, this week? Well, we've got some different technology here on the Bomeg stand where they've just introduced a new tandem vibration re-roller. This is the brand new Dash 5 generation of tandem rollers from Bomeg. And we see here the BW190 ADO, which features the brand new Tango Exciter system. Tango stands for tangential oscillation and that means the drum stays in permanent contact with the surface. So impact spacing is not a matter anymore here. We can travel as fast as we can without the risk of leaving marks on the surface. And it's the ideal solution for joints, for working on bridges since it's a very smooth compaction. The front drum will do the breakdown rolling behind the paver while the second drum with the Tango system is rather for the smooth compaction and for the surface dressing.
welcome back. We're going to be looking at the world of materials and road building. Let's start off with you, Simon, over at Terex. I'm on my way to the Terex stand to hear about their new product releases. We have a few machines here we're launching in the market this year. We're now seeing a requirement for the recycle side of the market and therefore we're trying to develop machines that can work not only in the aggregate sector but also then in the recycle sector as well. Warrior 2100, new design, designed not only for the aggregate sector but also for the recycle sector. Set up time, we run about 15 minutes. We've got two new products that we've launched, uh, the 1170 our jaw crusher. We also have our new three deck uh, 684 screen plan and this is quite a unique product for us uh, where we've gone from our traditional five foot wide screen boxes to a five foot seven wide design. We've seen considerable growth primarily driven by the rental business. A lot of our dealers are very in tune with the rental model. We expect to see that growth continue through the course of the next one to three years. We've heard a lot about the requirements of the Tier 4 final this week and the first of the asphalt pavers to be here at Conexpo is with Atlas Copco with the Dynapack F800T. Well the machine is packed with new technology and it runs on a high performance undercarriage system at which the company says is capable of pushing trucks even when the hopper is fully loaded. We talked to Bill Neitinger who tells us what this machine has to offer. This piece of equipment here is a highway class eight foot paver uh, done mainly for mainline paving for contractors doing you know, secondary roads, highways, wide width, major paving. It's new for 2014. The only one here in Con Expo with a tier four final engine in it. Your major paving is eight feet to a maximum paving width of 19 feet. We offer the largest diameter for auger flights in the industry. Uh, we have a center chain box on this machine that's the most narrow in the industry to help reduce segregation for the contractor. We have a couple patents on this machine, so we feel we've come up with something that separates us from all the other competition. And that brings us to the end of our final program from the news at Con Expo Con Egg. Don't forget we do have a special review program and a look at some of the specialist subjects that came up. It really has been quite good, hasn't it? It's been a lot of fun, Alan, and we've really enjoyed bringing all the breaking news to the audience. Hey, Simon, we've been told to stop monkeying around with these things. Well, there is this fella, Al. Yeah, but that's not a monkey, that's a gorilla. I don't think that's the point. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>